lineup. We'll kick off one which isn't so esoteric, but is particularly lovely. Um, then it gets a little more unusual, should I say, from this point on. So we have Lusa, or Lusa. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce it, to be honest, but. Um, I love the smell of this. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I mean, that one, I know I'm jumping ahead, that was supposed to have raspberries in it. This mm. one sounds like it's got raspberries in it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm not sure if it does or not, but. Lots of red fruit, it's on the nose, um, herbaceous, a um, little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. You might even suggest there's some bit of fennel character there as well. Um, but it has a sweetness on the nose as well, which keeps it lively and fun and interesting. It just has a really lovely smell to it. Mm. It tastes good and all, but it's mm. got. I think it's one of the nicest smelling ones there is, actually. Well, all the ones we've tried so far. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, get used to that. Um, no, it is. It's very well balanced as well. Um, it weighs its alcohol well. It's got some sweet mid palate characters. Um, there's some the drying up front and then again on the finish. Uh, slight pepperiness again on the length, which is very, very nice indeed. And um, yeah, just just a really, really well made gin. Again, small batch production, as most of these things are, um, from three lovely people on the Isle of Jura. Very remote, not the easiest place to to get things off. So it's it's not the cheapest gin, but bearing in mind the distances they have to travel and the, the amount of ferries they have to use to get their stuff on it, just onto the mainland alone is. Uh, is not insignificant. Is not insignificant, and uh, you know, I think they there are, there are easier things to be doing in easier places. So good on them for, for yeah. doing it and, and sticking to it. And I love the fact they go foraging in the kayak. Yeah, well, the ingredients. I mean, if you could, you would, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, uh, true. You know, so it's not a bad a bad way of making a living. But they but they put a lot of love, a lot of energy into it, and I think it shows. It's it's really really well made. It's selling really well for us actually. Hugely popular. Um, you know, any association with Scottish Islands and a gin which is actually made there does help immensely. Yes. And this is this is working well. No, I think this is one of my long term favourite gins. Mm. 